So let's look at some examples on um, determinancy of beam and frames. So first we have a beam support on the roller support and the fixed support. So if we see here is a here is a support A and uh, we have support C over here. So on the beam, so we have a hinge. So if we say this hinge is a point B. So when we see a hinge on a beam, so First of all, we cut the beam into two parts of the hinge. So then we have two parts. So one is AB and the second one is BC. So then we can put the reaction force on these two beam segments. So a support A is a fixed support. So for fixed support, we have three reaction force. So horizontal reaction force, vertical reaction force, and uh, rotation and moment so this support a and support b is a hinge support so hinge support is looks like a pin support so on pin support we have two reaction force so this is the reaction force on the beam segment a b so on beam segment b c we have so a sub or the the point b will have similar reaction force and the uh, support C is a roller support where we have one reaction force. Then we need to check how many unknown reaction force we need to determine. So let's say at uh, the support A we have three, support B we have two, so in total it's five. So we already count two reaction force on support B. So now we don't need to take count of the two reaction force at support B on the beam BC. So we have five and then at the support C, we have one reaction force. So in total, is six reaction force. So the reaction force is six. And uh, how many members we have? We have two members. So for each member, we can write down three equations of equilibrium. So then equation of equilibrium, three times n equal to six. So we need to compare the reaction force and the three times n. So R is equal to 3N, so then we can see this structure is, this beam structure is determinate structure. Okay, so this is the first example. So look at the second examples. We have uh, beam supports on two fixed ends. So if we say this is, this is A, this is uh, B, this is C, D, E okay, so because we find a uh, a hinge support over here, so we cut the beam over here. We also cut the beam uh, support D. So then we have three beam segment, three beam segments. If we draw beam segment over here, so this is A C. We have a roller support B over here. So this is A B C. So we have a C D. And we have a D, E. Okay, then we put reaction force on this beam segment. So a support B is a fixed support. Three reaction force. Support B, roller support, one reaction force. A support C is a pin support. It's a hinge, so it looks like a pin support. We have two reaction force. So we can put these two reaction force on the C point here as well. Two reaction force and a sub, a support D. So a support D here is, is looks like a roller support. So we already have one reaction force. A support D is one reaction force here as well. So a support E is a fixed support. So a three reaction force. So then we need to check how many reaction force we need to determine it. So we have one, two, three, so here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and uh, we have three more reaction force than ten reaction force. So R, so R equal to ten. And how many member we have? We have three members. So R is not than three n, and there is indeterminate structure. So the de determinacy is r minus 3n equal to 1. So it's indeterminate 
structure to the first degree. Okay, this is the second example.